Hey guys, welcome back to Rem Pet Bath and Beauty. We are here to make um, a soap to go with the bath bombs that we made last week. This is inspired by the David Bowie song called Let's Dance. And the fragrance that we're using today is called Vanilla Bean. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have, this is our half hour recipe, so in my bucket I have olive oil, castor oil, um, coconut oil, sustainable palm, so, uh, did I say soybean oil? Not sure. And a teeny, teeny little bit of castor. In my lye water, I have distilled water, sodium hydroxide, and salt and sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pour my, my lye water in there. Get everything out of there. And we're going to take Freddy and we're going to mix it up. Put Freddy together. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to get this to just before emulsification. And the reason I get it to just before emulsification is my yogurt is cold because yes, yet again, I forgot to take it out of the fridge. So my oils are a little bit hotter than what I would usually soap. I usually soap at room temperature, but this yogurt is going to cool down my batter significantly. So, and it's uh, organic Greek yogurt. Just get it from the grocery store in the dairy section oh and there's also heavy powdered heavy cream in this recipe people have been requesting a straight vanilla soap for quite a while um, i have a vanilla and champagne soap that smells amazing it's called cover girl um but like I said, people have been asking for straight up vanilla, so I'm going to make candles and wax, or not candles, uh, wax melts with this fragrance as well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and split off for colors because this is a vanilla fragrance. It's definitely going to discolor, so I'm going to add a little bit of brown to the base, and I'm only going to put uh, the fragrance in the brown. So I have titanium dioxide, and I also have some of that gorgeous, gorgeous blushed bronze. And we will be piping on top of this, so hopefully you guys can see me pouring this. I'm not sure if the camera is placed good or not for that. I need that for piping too, so we're going to stick with that. So this is chocolate brown from Crafter's Choice. And I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Like I said, you don't need much. I just like my discoloration to be even. But I'm also, because I want, I in the bath bombs last week, we put this um, French white shimmer mica in there too. So I'm going to put a nice bit of that in there too. Ooh, boy, that just got everywhere. Just so I can, uh, woo, it's going everywhere. Just so I can uh, have some sparkle to it. And I'll need to stick blend this white as well. I'm going to do that first. Okay, Freddy. Okay, there is that. Hope everybody had a good week. I did. I'm actually filming this the same night that um, we made our bath bombs in this. So if you didn't watch that, I got to speak to my son, who is a sergeant in the Marine Corps and is finally home from Afghanistan. He's in quarantine, but he's very excited to meet his new baby when his wife is able to travel. Alright, let me, oh, I don't know why I didn't stick my 
why I didn't stick Freddie in there. <laughs> okay, let's blend this up so we can get to getting. That's all right. It is going to discolor. So it's going to get to a pretty deep brown. But I like that shimmer in there. That is beautiful. It's kind of a weird gray purpley color <laughs> from the brown I put in there. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I know what adding a lot of that French shimmer does. I gotta get the soap off the sides there. Sorry about that. All right, let me mix up this blushed bronze. And then I'm going to add my fragrance and we'll get to pouring. I'm just going to make sure I got all of that off the bottom. I always pre-mix my colors with oil so I don't have to stick blend like crazy because I like my batter really thin. I prefer it thin unless I'm doing, you know, like different techniques or whatever, but I do prefer it rather thin. So this, oh, smells so good. And I'm going to do one extra thing to this before we start pouring. And I'm going to be able to do a drop for all. I need to get a spoon here. This is Tahitian Vanilla Bean Paste. You saw me use it last week in the bath bombs. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in my white. I just want the speckles from those gorgeous vanilla beans in there. Oh, look at that. The speckle. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay off this and get our mold over here. This is one of my new molds. Get Freddie out of here. I'm gonna pour a nice amount of this base. And then some of this white from really up high. We're also going to put some of this bronze in there, just a little bit. Okay. And that'll be for piping the rest of the white and and the bronze. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I totally derailed. And I'm getting soap all over the side of my brand new mold. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. One more scrape out. I know I'm a scraper. I make no bones. Okay. Look at that mess. I just made all over there. Okay, let me tap this. Sorry if I jiggle you. I'm gonna have to tap it again. I don't know why I just tapped it. I'm gonna take this skewer and I'm gonna swirl this way. And then I'm gonna swirl this way. And I'm gonna tap it one more time just to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Alrighty. So, this bronze, I think I'm going to stick blend it um, off camera just to get it to thicken up. Because I'm feeling like binge watching a show and eating ice cream. So, I want this to be pipeable very quickly. I will see you in a minute. So, oh, I got to put gloves on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Boy, like I said, I just want to go upstairs. It's like 10, 13 at night. just want to go upstairs and binge watch till 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs>
and eat some ice cream. I'm in one of those moods today. And by the way, oh my gosh, I almost totally, totally forgot to tell you guys. I am going to get two grandbabies this year. Um, my daughter, who is one of my business partners, is going to have another baby. She's going to be number three for her. And, of course, my son, who is also one of my business partners, he had a baby, well, his wife had a baby um, earlier this year. So I'm very excited to have two grandchildren in one year. So what I do is I clip off the end, and then I just sort of slide the bag in there and pull it up. Hopefully you can see, pull it up. So that way we have our our piping set. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer, but I'm gonna spray this so it sticks. Let's bring you in just a little bit closer so you guys can see the piping. Hopefully my hand doesn't get in your way. And see how it's, you know, multicolored there. I love multicolored piping. It's one of my favorite things to pipe. Like I said, I'm trying to not be in your guys' way so you can see. Because I know I still have some shadow issues over here on this other side. Um, I'm looking into getting another ring light. So, and a better mic for you guys. Because I want, like I said, I, you know, I've said it before, I want you guys to have the best vantage, the best view, the best sound, and all of that in case, you know, I'm doing something you've never done and I'm explaining something, whatever, I, you know, that y'all need to see. I want you guys to have that advantage. I'm working on it. Um, eventually we're going to remodel this whole kitchen, which will be really nice. I think my husband said he's, because the countertops aren't terrible and, you know, I get soap on them all the time. I don't want to get anything too fancy for the countertops. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm putting a little bit of soap to prop up that big old thing that I put there, like in between them, just to prop it up. And then I'll put the rest of this piping in um, my sample mold. Here, let me move this for a second and bring this into view. This is my sample mold. I bring some of this piping down in this bag and just put all the rest of it in here. So that way I have samples. There we go. Okay, let's bring this back into view. Okay. I think my head is in this light here, over here. But anyway, I have this um, bronze biodegradable glitter. I always put it in my hand rather than shake it on the right on the soap it just makes it easier for me so that way I don't put too much on there and I'm going to put a little bit of super sparkle oh look at that that is beautiful and I will bring you guys down for a close-up after I get this countertop cleaned off so I'll be right back Okay, here we go. Here's our close-up of our vanilla soap. 
I think she looks spectacular. I love, I don't know if you can see it. You can actually see the vanilla bean specks even in the piping. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I'm going to let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and I will see you for the cutting. Bye bye. Hi guys. Welcome back to Rempep Bath and Beauty. We're going to cut Let's Dance. Um, I'm going to take an end piece off of here. I'm excited to cut this one because I want to see how it did on the outside. I have, um, you can see there's a little bit of condensation on there. Um, I've said it before. It's because I put my soap in the freezer to take it out of the molds. So, but that will dry out and in the curing process. But I'm going to take a little sliver off here. Oh boy. The outside of that is much darker than the inside. So, the color, you can see the color that it is on the edges. There is the color that it's going to turn um, after it's cured. Mm -hmm. I want to see on the top of the soap, you can actually see, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I can actually see the little speckles from the vanilla bean paste that I put in the white, which is really pretty. Yeah, this is going to, I mean, it is vanilla bean. I mean, it's definitely uh, going to darken up on us. I really like it on wispy, wispy swirls. I like that. And when it gets darker, that the bronze color and the white is it's just going to stand out that much more. It's been a few days since I've unmolded this as, um, as well, or not unmolded, uh, made this. I just uh, unmolded it not too long ago, um, so I'm just slacking. <laughs> I've been binge watching a TV show and I'm like, oh, I got work to do. But sometimes you got to take some time off and have some time for yourself. It happens. I mean, I've still been sending out orders and stuff like that. Nobody's uh, shipping has been delayed. <laughs> I can do all that upstairs and still watch my TV show. Okay. Ooh! Don't fall. I really do. I like that. The wispiness of it. I'm trying to see if I can see the vanilla bean paste inside the white. Oh, I can. I can see the little specks. And the, I mean, there's, unfortunately, there's no way that my camera's going to pick it up. I, I wish it would. Maybe uh, in the pictures, when I post the pictures to Facebook, you guys will be able to, to see them. So... But it does, it really looks nice. I like it. See, like right there, it almost looks like a flower. It's really pretty. Okay, sorry, I know, I'm jabbering on. I'm in a really, really good mood today. You remember, I mean, if you're new here, you may not have seen the Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go video. But uh, I talked about a business opportunity that... I may have had that would be very good for my business as well as hopefully for the other business involved and it is totally happening so when I make the soaps for that I am going to record them for you and tell you a whole lot more about it just because I'm so flipping excited about it I am I'm very excited and the woman that 
uh, I'm doing this with is absolutely fabulous. She's she's great. So I'll tell you. Whoop, I'll tell you more about everything when I uh, make her orders. So. Because this is, you know, it's a wholesale account, but it's it's a different way of doing a wholesale account. I've never done a wholesale account like this. Like I said, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. See, now I'm just, now I just want to tell you right now, but I'm not going to. You can't make me. Okay, here we go. Let's take this other end piece off. And there's our last slice. She's looking beautiful. Wow. I really like it. Okay, guys. You know, I as always, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. It's been a blast to share all of this with you guys. And, you know, I never in a million years did I ever think that, you know, any of you would want to watch me. But <laughs> here you are. And I so appreciate the love and support. So, you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.